Hey, this is Miko. I'm taking out my first time to test drive the new 2022 Nissan Leaf S. So this is the base model. Just want to see how it feels on the road and uh, get an idea of what's going on. Uh, pretty much the entry level electric vehicle, fully electric. You can look at the controls. Pretty simple, but it's got you know the minimal required. This is your shifter. Um, push to the left and down for drive, push to the left forward for reverse, and then the camera comes on, parking position, start button, uh, climate control, entertainment system, has Apple CarPlay, has um, Android Auto, so pretty simple. Uh, the driver display, you can see you have the actual speedometer and then you have the electronic display on the left side, shows you the range, the battery, the full mileage, and this shows what's going on with the powertrain. I can cycle through different displays here by controls on the steering wheel. Basically, all the car menus on the steering wheel. So the audio system, um, energy situation, tire pressure, and all the settings can be settings for the car can be controlled here. So I just scroll through them here. This is where I can make all the adjustments. All right, so right now this is the normal mode. I just started and went off. Um, adjustments that we can make, uh, there's the e-pedal, which we're gonna try a little bit later, and economy mode. So you can see how it accelerates, nice and quiet. I'm not going on the freeway yet. We'll see how it goes. Wanted to take it uh, more to a residential area and go up the hills because that's what a lot of people are concerned with on how this car performs in the hills, so we can give it a try. Uh, compared to other electric cars I drove, so right now in the regular mode, it drives more like a regular car as let's say compared to uh, BMW i3, which is you know what I have experience with. Uh, so it doesn't have that one pedal driving feel in a normal mode. It cruises, there's a little bit of pullback, but other than that, it cruises pretty much like a normal car. So we're cruising along and might as well, I'm going to try the e-pedal, see what happens. So this is this control. So now the e-pedal is on and right away it feels like it pulls sensitivity of the throttle. And this will be more like basically one pedal driving. So when I take the foot off the gas, you can see how it slows me down. Fairly aggressive, again, from my experience, on par with other electric cars, not much different. And um, this mode is what allows you to basically drive the car more or less with one pedal. So right now we're coming up to a stop sign and I'm just controlling the pedal. I'm not touching the brake. Okay, I have not touched the brake. Come to pretty much a full stop, accelerate again. It's really convenient for one pedal driving. All right, give it a little push to pick up so you can see how the acceleration works. Uh, right now we're about 40 miles an hour, good city driving feel. Steering here is responsive. You know, just not, not something you even have to think about. It just, it just works fine. Okay, so while we're just cruising, uh, we're coming up on the red light. And again, I'm not touching the brake. So actually, just now after driving it for a couple of minutes it's really convenient and easy to get used to uh, okay this is the street um, i'm gonna try to get uh, more up in the hills and maybe get on the highway so we'll see how that goes acceleration into the corner was easy
right up in the hill. Just go up the hill and see what happens. Plenty of power. Again, it's not surprising with electric cars. That's what they're known for. And uh, really convenient with one pedal. Nice and zippy, great car for city driving, absolutely no problem here. Let's see. Handles well and turns. This is the front wheel drive. A lot of power. I hope my camera guy is not getting car sick. You okay? Yep. Might as well. Let's try the economy mode. Okay, so drives the same. Takes a little bit of the sensitivity of the accelerator. Other than that, feels just fine. All right, so I don't think this road is going anywhere. And let's see how we're going to do in this very tight spot for for a U-turn. Okay, so it's in reverse. You can see the camera. See exactly what it looks like. It makes this sound, so that's, I guess, to warn people around the car because the car is so quiet. So it gives you a little bit of the sound to, so people know that sometimes you're out so you don't kill anybody, which is nice. Okay, let's get out of the economy mode. So now going a little bit of, we're gonna go a little bit downhill. We'll see how it feels with this. Uh, where did it come from? Yeah, so we'll see what it feels like going downhill when the car uses the gravity basically to, to charge itself, to charge the battery. I'm pretty much driving. I am driving with just one pedal at this point. At this point. Okay. okay, so even even going downhill, it pretty much stops the car right now. And I'm gonna try it again. As long as, okay, that's a steep hill going down. So I'm not touching anything not holding the brake or the gas and it kind of rolls down and aggressively slowing the car down as well okay let's see what else we're going to try so maybe here we can go a little bit faster not much faster but i just want to give you a feel of what it feels like and again we are are we in okay e pedal is off more like a regular car driving, it cruises. So basically this is it. And the whole point of this car, this is an affordable car that's easy to drive. You don't need to know a lot about electric stuff you don't need to know about electricity you do need to know how to take care of the charging and that's pretty easy to find out how it works other than that it's just easy car to drive you, you turn it on and you go uh which straight me on okay so i think this is good for a short video nice car i enjoyed it thanks for watching bus stopping